guys. That intro there was me printing ABS on, on glass without any warping, without any enclosure, and just getting a perfect print out uh, on the first attempt. So I'll talk about how I got that shortly, but really excited about this. I have tried to print ABS in the past and I've never actually got it right. It always came loose from the build plate. I've tried to build enclosures to heat it up and I've had some partial successes, but never a really great print out of ABS. So I abandoned ABS completely and I stuck with PLA. Now, I enjoy printing on PLA. PLA prints uh, perfectly on glass and it sticks really well. So I always enjoyed uh, printing PLA and it's, it is my uh, filament of choice. But there are some limitations with regard to heat and things like that. So I need to start branching out and getting some other filaments going such as ABS and PETG and that kind of thing and polycarbonate. So Vision Miner, I had a little bit of a contact with Vision Miner and I spoke to them about their nanopolymer adhesive. I saw that they were giving away free samples so I applied for this and then I told them that I had a YouTube channel and that I would like to do a video on their product. So they sent me uh, this bottle of the nano adhesive and some sample bottles uh, for me to do as a giveaway, which I'll talk about a bit later uh, in my video. And um, yeah, so what we've now done is I have been work working on printing uh, PETG and uh, ABS. Now why PETG? PETG sticks perfectly well to glass and there's no problems printing it. One of the funny things about PETG is when you print it on raw glass without any adhesion, it sticks like crazy, but it sticks too well. And when the PETG cools and the glass cools, they cool at different rates and it causes chunks of glass to come out of your out of your build plate. So this is a big problem because you get pieces of glass in your in your final build and the bottom surface is not too great and it damages your, your glass uh, build plate. So yeah, I then tried it with this nano polymer and I got some great success. By the way, guys, if you like this content and like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're building this channel nicely and uh, getting some great views and subscribers. So just keep subscribing. Let's keep building this channel so I can get more of this great stuff to review for you guys. So nano, this nano polymer that was sent to me by Vision Miner. Thank you, Vision Miner. I really appreciate you sending me this out and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I just want to make sure that I say this. They sent me free samples, okay, but I'm not getting paid for this review of the nanopolymer. This is purely my own thoughts and my own honest opinion about the stuff, okay. I've used glue sticks before and it's such a mess and it's not great results and I can't, I've never got it to work with ABS. So I have put this polymer onto a glass plate and onto this uh, build tech style thing from uh, the Tronhu. And I'm glad to say that the results are impeccable. So as you can see in front of me, I've got some benches over here. This is printed in, um, in ABS without any brim, with no, uh, with no warping, no peeling, nothing, and a perfect print. And I actually tried the acetone test. Now, I'll take a close-up picture of this. And I did the acetone uh, vapor smoothing. Had damn it come out nice. It really is something to, to play with. But I got acetone on the bottom of the print, so it ruined the bottom of the print a little bit. But it is amazing how smooth this came out. I will do a video in future about this acetone vaping. I know there's a couple of videos out there, but it is really impressive, the results you get. And I'm sure it's stronger, which I'd like to test. This here is another ABS print that was printed on the glass. Um, and I've also done it on the, on the, uh, the, the build tack. On both of them, uh, the one on the on the glass came out perfect. At the bottom, it looks absolutely stunning. But I had a bit of a layer adhesion problems due to uh, the the filament being a little bit moist. I'm using Esun uh, ABS, and it is a little bit on the old side. It's probably about a year old. Um, I haven't had it sealed in the packet, but I've kept it in a packet with the desiccant and. Uh, tried to keep it away from moisture, but I think a little bit of moisture creeped in, so there were some layer adhesion problems. Uh, so I had a bit of mixed results on my layers, but the base stuck perfectly to the to the glass and to the build tech uh, style build plates. So that got me really excited. Then I tried it with some uh, PETG. Now, as I said before, PETG can cause glass to come off your build plate, 
But I'm happy to say that this print came out absolutely stunning. It's a brand new roll of Isan Pedji. And uh, it stuck perfectly to the glass. No problem. And when it cooled down, released nicely. And the bottom looks stunning because it's printing on glass. So your bottom is nice and shiny and really looks amazing. So I was super excited about that. Then I thought to myself, wait a minute, why don't I try polycarbonate? Now, polycarbonate is a very difficult material to print with. And I used to have an all metal hot end that I managed to destroy. <laughs> okay, we won't go to that now. So I managed to destroy that hot end, but I was printing polycarbonate, but it will not stick to anything. It just wouldn't stick. Okay, so I thought, well, let me give it a try here on the Tronhu. So I used it on the Biltec surface uh, with the Tronhu. Unfortunately, the Tronhu only gets up to 240 degrees Celsius, so it wasn't quite hot enough for polycarbonate. But here's the point. It stuck. It stuck perfectly. There was no warping, none at all. And polycarbonate warps like crazy. So there was no warping. Just my layer adhesion wasn't good. As you can see here, I aborted the print. Oops. I aborted the print because uh, the, this top part broke off. But there is, there is layer adhesion problems and it is coming apart and it broke off here when I took it off. But the point is, it actually stuck to this build tech surface perfectly. And I've never got it to do that before. So that really got me excited. So this nanopolymer adhesive from uh, Vision Miner, you must go check out their website, visionminer.com. This costs $49. So it is rather expensive, but it goes a long way. I have barely noticed uh, my level going down. I've used it on a lot of prints and I've been experimenting with it and playing and how much I put on. And you only put a small amount on just to, to cover the, the build area and it goes a long way. So check, that was me, nearly dropped. I'm dropping things like crazy today. <laughs> so just go and check out their website, go and uh, see uh, what, they, what they talk about there. But I just want to read a little bit of the card here. So, you know, it's designed, it was originally designed for Peak and Ultim and PPSU, which I don't even know what that is. But anyway, and other high temperature, high performance FDM. Peak is an amazing material. It's an engineering grade material that allows you to print uh, these very, very high performance parts. It's used a lot in the rocket, rocketry industry where they print rocket parts and all this at a peak. And unfortunately, it's out of the reach of these machines. You need a machine that can go up to 500 degrees Celsius. And those are quite hard to come by, especially in our DIY. But it's exciting that you can actually buy this stuff, even though it's, it's crazy expensive for 250 grams. Uh, so, but you can print on, on the right machine with Peak. And this stuff is designed to hold Peak down. But it's also it will hold down literally any other material that there is. If you look on the card here, it says that you can print on nylon, ABS. Well, so you will hold down nylon, ABS, PLA, PETG, uh, and so on and so forth. There's quite a few different uh, materials that you can use. And I don't use it really for the PLA because PLA sticks so well to glass. Uh, but I did try it the other day and I had good results. I was happy with the results. Uh, I was printing a part without brims that needed to print a little circle part that, got, that is a riser. And it printed those perfectly. It just stuck so well. So, yes, there is a, there is a place for it. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get into trouble because of my other video about printing on glass. So, um, yeah, this, this it works really well. The ABS is great. Um, it's $49. So go and check out their website and see what else Vision Miner offers. Uh, great little company. They really got some innovative, innovative products that they're pushing out. Now we get on to these three little bottles here. Okay, so I want to give away these three bottles. Gosh, this is, gonna, this is so painful to talk about and to say because um, I really want to, to uh, ship this worldwide. But to ship these little bottles worldwide will cost a fortune. At the moment, uh, shipping outside of the country in South Africa is so prohibitively expensive. The courier companies just charge so much going from South Africa out. I actually don't know why it's so expensive, but it is very, very expensive and will be far more than the value of these bottles. So sadly, I'm only giving these three bottles away to my South African viewers. Uh, I, to my rest of the world, I really apologize. It really, I really feel bad that I can't give this away to absolutely everyone. But uh, maybe I'll speak to Vision Miner and we can make an arrangement uh, that they ship it all from their side in the future, in, in the next video that we do on this. But 
for now, I'm going to give away these three bottles to, um, to the South African uh, viewers, subscribers. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. Uh, and then put a, a give us a like and in the comments the first person that tells me what that chemical symbol is for at the background there they they will win the first bottle okay the second bottle is the first person that tells me what abs stands for and the third bottle will be go to anyone uh that can tell me what pet g stands for so yeah let's just see how that goes and please just uh put your answers below in the comments and let me know also give me other any other comments you want about this video thank you so much for watching watching please consider subscribing uh we are building and we're really going well with this channel and please uh, uh if you consider supporting me on patreon uh, i was going to give one of these bottles away to the uh, patreon member but i decided just to do it to the subscribers for now please guys consider supporting me on patreon it'll help me build this channel and make this into, into something really great um, I've got some exciting videos coming up. I've got a laser engraver coming from Banggood, which I'm really excited about. So check out that in the, in the future for the next videos. Um, and God bless, stay well, and keep safe. Thank you for watching.